Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Jenny and this is vlog number six. For the past five vlogs, it has been nothing but prep for my niece's quince. And the last vlog, it was the actual quince and everything. So everything is done with that. So now we can move on to other projects. And today we're in my room and yeah, I wanted to like try some different lighting. <laughs> I don't know how well I executed it, but whatever. I just wanted to change some stuff up. Behind me is where my desk used to be and my desk is over there now. <laughs> yeah, so like this is kind of like the ex desk area, but like also it was like the gallery wall and now I just want it to be the gallery wall and it's small. It's a small area, but I want to change it up so that it looks cool in the background. I don't know. <laughs> Today, I really need to like start like organizing everything. <laughs> <laughs> we have been working on our master bathroom for a few months now and it's coming to a close like there's still like a few little like detallitos that like you know with time they should probably be done or whatever I don't know hopefully <laughs> you know like the whole construction and everything everything has literally just been in a storage container in our closet and I've just been going in there picking up stuff and like taking them to the other bathroom or now we started using this bathroom again because because for the quince, we had some family come over and my husband was able to actually finish a big like majority of the bathroom so we were able to take showers in here and like the toilet and everything like that the sink so now we're still missing like one cabinet and i'll show you the bathroom it's beautiful but like i said it's not 100 percent finished so don't judge 100 percent just yet but it's it's nice like the tile work and everything it's beautiful we did what we could with the space because the guy that sold us the house the layout of the original original master bathroom was like really small so we extended it a little bit more this way so like we ate a little bit of like square footage of our actual room in order to make the bathroom and also the closet bigger our closet was so small I would have to take all of my clothes like if it's like winter clothes and it's like you know the dead of freaking summer and it's hot like I can't use it so I have to like put them in storage boxes and stuff and then I have to take them out and then switch them out and when my family was here we went to Stone Mountain and I was like oh I'm gonna wear my overalls and this and that and we got to the top of the mountain and I was like yo it's cold like I'm freezing <laughs> I didn't bring a jacket so I mean it was still fun you know like we hung out with family and everything but it was cold and it was frustrating because it was just like it was so nice and warm like like when you're like normal level when you get to the top like it's like freezing because it's extra windy but whatever so our closet still isn't 100% done it's also missing a few shelves that he's gonna be installing and what what is that pole thing called where you actually hang the clothes on clothing rack is that what that's called I don't know why I, I I don't know. I feel like that's wrong, but it also sounds like it's right. Whatever. He needs to put the pole so we can hang our clothes on like, you know, the new side of the closet. So we're not, we don't have all of the storage stuff just yet, but I do want to empty out a storage unit that I have here in like my art area because I want to paint it. <laughs> <laughs> and I have like these paint cans. I love this color scheme of it's like a soft white. And then I have like this really beautiful like light blue and I'm going to paint these storage bins because they're plastic and the paint that I got it's able to stick onto plastic and stuff I want to paint them so that they look pretty I need to like scrape off the stickers but yeah I have to empty them out and then I have to take them outside put like something on the floor so that it doesn't get all over the grass spray them I also have to check the weather make sure it's not gonna rain <laughs> and also I have to sand them which I'm not prepared for I don't know how I'm gonna do that I didn't really think that part through so yay <laughs> I mean I'm doing it outside so I'm really hoping that I don't need to wear a mask hopefully famous last words before I get some mysterious disease from sanding plastic and then die but yeah so like these bins this one up here I have my Posca pens in here this one is just full of random stuff I don't really know what's in here fully I know that this one has clay this is like mod podges and like sprays like sealers and stuff like that and then this 
big one because this one starts here and then it goes all the way down to the ground. Like it's a big, like seven drawers. It's just full of, this is gonna sound so freaking sad. <laughs> okay, so like a few years ago, I used to have an Etsy and I would sell like, you know, a few little things of like art and whatever. And then I got super depressed and then I closed it. <laughs> So that was fun. It was a fun experience. I have a few things left over from that time, I like a few products and like things that I purchased to make the products and some packaging material and stuff like that. I want to take everything that is in these drawers and put them in this plastic tub that I bought just now at Gualmar. And I just want to put it in there for the time being. And then once everything is painted, then they're going to be repurposed. So they're not fully going to be for like art stuff anymore. I guess it just depends on like how everything fits. I kind of want to use this seven drawer one as my makeup drawer and put it next to my desk. We'll see how that works out because I'm not too sure if all my makeup will fit in there. I currently do have a makeup drawer and I have that one in the closet and I'm thinking of emptying that one out and then making that like our underwear sock drawer pretty much for me and my husband because it's three drawers. Like one, one is going to be for him, one is for me and then like the third one I guess is just going to be for like pajamas. I don't know because I keep my pajamas currently in my my underwear and sock drawer. I think that's going to be the best course of action is like just like repurposing that drawer and it's going to be in the closet. Who cares if it's ugly? Because the one that we currently have, it doesn't fit in our closet and it takes up a little bit of room. Not a whole lot, but I think if it wasn't there, it would make our room look a lot more open. So that's what we're thinking about doing. I'm going to show you everything, I guess. It's quite embarrassing for me. I I don't know. It's Wednesday, dude. Like the party was Friday. <laughs> And I've been trying to edit the vlog. We're trying to get it uploaded sometime this week. And I was like, I need to start filming this video. But I've just been trying to like get over it, you know, of like my embarrassment. Like I'm just like, everything is such a freaking mess. And it's just like, ah, uh, it's embarrassing. Like I really don't want to show you guys, but kind of feel like I have to. <laughs> I'm being forced. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll show you everything just so you can see like a real like before and after, I guess. I think I have a like an actual photo of like my desk setup before all the construction and whatnot. That's the before. And then I'm going to show you what it is now. And then I'll show you the after once we're all complete and everything. So I'm going to take you along with this organization. I don't know how long this is going to be. I would love for this to be over and just like one vlog and that's it. I don't know how many vlogs this is going to take me because to be honest, it's a lot. And like I said, there's still things needing to be done. We don't have 100% of our storage area done. And the awesome thing that my husband also did was we have access to our attic and he He's going to like put down some plywood and stuff so that we can start using it as actual storage because here at our house, we don't have a basement. We have an attic, but it's like unfinished. Like we can't really like put anything up there. And then we don't have a garage or a storage unit outside. I mean, we do have a storage unit, but like that's like my husband's, like he uses it for work stuff. Like we don't have anywhere where we can actually like store like extra stuff here, like our personal stuff because we have a few closets around the house now but like I want storage for like just the miscellaneous crap so with access to the attic I want to be able to have like these bins and close them off and put them up there so that things like that that we definitely don't need like here on like the main level every single day that can go to the attic so it'll like open up more storage space for us on like a day-to-day -day thing if that makes any sense. Oh, I'm also doing laundry because with everything going on over the weekend, I didn't really do laundry. I mean, I washed everything, but I haven't folded everything and put it away. The only thing that I folded and put away were the kids' uniforms for school because I was like, they freaking need that. That's the only thing that's put away. Everything else is just hanging out whichever way. Like there's, there's a lot just everywhere because a lot of the stuff we had just like chilling in the living room to make room for us here in our actual bedroom since the family came over we like stuffed everything back into our room so that it wouldn't look such a mess out there and now I have to go through everything again and 
figure out what's going to be donated, what's trash, what's going to be used, or where is this going to be going? Like, you know, find everything like its own home pretty much. So yeah, <sighs> I guess let's do this. <laughs> this is the entrance. You can see me. Hello. <laughs> this door, we're going to like frost it so that you don't have to like look inside of the closet. So this is our closet. There's a mess, as you can see. <laughs> that is the makeup bin that I'm talking about that I need to empty. And I want that to be where we put the underwears and whatnot. So everything needs to be like reorganized. It's disgusting. I hate it. <laughs> Moving on. This was the stuff that was like pushed out into the living room. And then like, since like family was coming, like we just like rushed it back in here. So there's like materials and you know, like this big ass bag right here is actually the Hobby Lobby yarn haul that I did in the first vlog. <laughs> I haven't touched the yarn since. And then this is a pillow that I made a few months ago. My daughter's hat. <laughs> and then like inside of here, there's like stuff that we're going to put into the bathroom to decorate it. Since I used my chair, I put it over there to like film the intro. <laughs> I just like threw this stuff onto the bed, but whatever. There's a lot of like clothes here as well that like just needs to be put away. The iron needs to be put in the laundry room. This filing cabinet, I actually want to move this and put it over there in this area where like the plastic stuff is that I want to repaint. And I think the seven drawer one, I'm going to move that one and put it here. But yeah, this is where my desk is. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's a mess, of course, here. I tried to like clean up a little bit. Well, I've been putting some stuff away. It's not like super crazy, but yeah, there's, I'm still editing. So like stuff is everywhere and notes and whatever. And then this is the crochet project that I just haven't had time to do. That, the red that I purchased, I'm actually going to return them. I think I have until like May something to like return it or whatever. And then this area is like a catch all. Like this was, a a lot of just like randomness like there's like photos that shouldn't even be here this bin is full of canvases that i don't know where i'm going to store them like that i think that would be a good thing to put in like the attic and then there's just like a lot of like bags and like miscellaneous stuff i was starting to make like a donation pile so like some of these are like donation stuff and some of them are like just trash you know this is our tv because TV is like right in front of us. My little Funko Pop thingies are here. And then this thing here with all the pins. These are all the pins that I have collected over the years. And I pretty much try to color coat them. So like the red pins have like red and like yellow and like, you know, like those kind of colors. This one's so cute. If you know this artist, you know, she has like the cutest collections of duckies. Bailey J. <laughs> Yeah, so this is where we were. I was sitting right here. There's like skid marks all over the walls. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have to clarify because I know that there's going to be that one person like, ew, what the heck? Why is there dookie on the wall? It's, I don't know. It's from some type of construction thing. I don't know. <laughs> and so, yeah, this is where we were just now. And then I have one printer here, another printer here. I have an oven here for when I bake the clay stuff. I can just put them in there. And then there's all these drawers are full of art stuff as well. This mushroom, my best friend Melissa gave it to me. So beautiful for my birthday. I painted this birdhouse. I made this little flower orchid. It's crocheted. And then I made this little mallard duck. There's like the small little crafting things are just like in there. Here's like my embroidery thing. <laughs> I just threw it up there because I was it was on my desk and I was like, I need to get it out of here. And then my plushies. And then I have like some art books up here. And then I just keep up there and I like get them down whenever I need some inspiration or whatever and then this is the gallery wall and then this is all my hair accessories i have an absurd amount like i made this this is crocheted leaves and stuff my sister taught me how to crochet i think i was like what like in middle school when she taught me and she showed me how to make these leaves and like make it like a vine i put them on these sticks there's two sticks and they're pretty much like it's like extra long vines and i just like you know Put them back and forth like that and i clip them on there and they're on there for like pretty good i glued it here and then 
thumbtacked it to the wall <laughs> and this one i actually bought this thing because i was like oh i just need something where to put like my hair stuff and i thought that it was going to be big enough and it's not like it is nowhere near big enough for all the things that i have and it's like why do i have so many <laughs> like they're just things that i've had for like years i've had these freaking headbands since I was like in freaking high school, I think. It's like, you know, over the years, like, you know, like depending on like the outfit or whatever, like I just like buy more and it's just like they just collect and I'm like, uh. So I've cooled it. I feel like ever since I put them on here like this, where I can see everything that I have, it makes it so much easier to just, you know, look at them, grab what I want, what I think is going to look good with my outfit of the day or whatever. And then I put it back and it's so much easier because I used to have them in a box and I just would never open the box and get them because I was like, who cares? <laughs> I'm just not going to put anything in my hair. And then when I would want something in my hair, I would like buy it and I would like have multiple of like the same things or whatever. So love this. And it's definitely helped me save money and be more conscious of what I have and no longer over consuming hair accessories. <laughs> There's a bunch of freaking holes everywhere. And because like, you know, this is where my desk used to be. Like, you know, the computer used to be here. My home pod used to be connected right there. The light used to be right here. And this was moved over over there because this was moved all the way up to the wall because it used to be a little bit more this way because we had the yarn thing in there, like in that little corner. The lights, I don't remember where I got the lights. I feel like I got them at Walmart. <laughs> most likely and then i bought these vines these vines are repurposed because i had them for my 25th birthday because my 25th birthday was like really like cottage core vibe i just like wrapped it around the light thing and that's where it's been this little thing is actually a party favor from my birthday that year i have been thinking like if i get another one i can connect it and bring it like maybe all the way over to where my desk is now and just like have this whole wall with this light and vines because i still have vines left over so i was like well maybe i can do that at some point <laughs> but yeah let's move into the bathroom ah, start screaming <laughs> okay so as I've said, nothing is complete 100% yet. So curtain is still not installed, but we've been using the, the shower and stuff. So we put like this cardboard here to have some privacy. <laughs> and yeah, the mirror is just taped there. <laughs> All my skin products are just there. Nothing is in the vanity yet. There's like mirrors down there that we still have to install. This is like the actual shower. And the curtain's gonna be different. It's not gonna be that one because that one's ugly. Yeah, so this is the shower. Um, it needs to be like cleaned because like there was like the sealer and it like makes it weird. But yeah, so this is the shower. And so like the shower walls, it like continues to like the floor and it's nice. And then this is the cabinet that's here so far. I think it's also going to be frosted. Here's a toilet. <laughs> the toilet's right here. And then there's going to be a cabinet installed right here as well. And there's going to be like a little countertop so that we can put like stuff there. And we are thinking of possibly putting the laundry basket there. We're not too sure. We haven't figured everything out just yet. And I know like there's like a lot of people that are like, oh, why didn't you put the toilet in the corner? It's like a perfect size or whatever. And we were going to do that, but we were like, like we don't have a lot of storage in the bathroom. I was like, yeah, let's add more storage because pretty much the kids bathroom, they have an actual closet and we can like put stuff in there and it's like annoying and frustrating to like have to go all the way over there, get something and then come all the way back over here and it's like ah like might as well just have like some type of storage here so that not everything is just like over there you know so yeah so this is z bathroom i don't know <laughs> like i said i'm sorry it's still very much work in progress it's not done yet so please don't judge too harshly hey champ <laughs> so you saw my horrendous mess 
I think I'm going to start doing some movements so that we can, you know, get the organization slowly but surely going. Start emptying out this drawer and then take the actual bins out of the room and maybe I can paint them tomorrow. I'm going to ask my husband and see if he has some sanding paper that I can use. <laughs> Because I didn't think about that and I don't have any. I guess let's get to doing it. I think that most of the stuff that's in here is going to stay in this bin and then go into the attic because I don't know. Maybe one day I'll come back to selling on Etsy, but for right now I'm good. <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of just want to focus on one thing at a time. All right. You know, I don't want to go too crazy or whatever. Oh man, you can't even see what I'm doing. Ugh. Bring you down here because you're so short. Me taking out my anger <laughs> because I'm short. Yeah. Why are you? Why do you do this to me? Okay. There's some sleeves and then these mailers are like really packed in here. So, oh my gosh. These are very difficult to get out. Ugh, my knees hurt already. It's hard being a big girl. Okay, one drawer down. Watering can. I'm not gonna lie, the last time that I shopped on Etsy was, I wanna say like maybe back in August of 23. Because I love Kate Spade. I think her jewelry is so like beautiful and dainty and like, I don't know, I think it's cute. And I, I knew that she had like this strawberry collection and I was like looking for it everywhere, couldn't find it. Of course, there was this one Etsy seller that was selling them and I was like, hell yeah, give me that thing. <laughs> It took them literally an eternity to get to me. Like to the point, I rarely message like, you know, sellers and stuff because I'm just like, I don't want to bother them. I was like, hey, what's going on? You know, it's been a few weeks. And I wanted them for my daughter's birthday. Like it was strawberry themed. I was like, these are the perfect jewelry set for me to wear. And I had gotten my daughter, like, you know, another set from like this farm that we went to. They, they have like handmade like jewelry and stuff and they had a strawberry set. So I bought that for her and I was like I'm gonna get myself this one <laughs> and the seller was just like I, like you know and you can tell that like they're not actually like a, a small business like it's actually like a big business that's like wholesaling I guess on Etsy and it's like really raunchy and gross yeah I got that from them and I was just like I don't know I feel like Etsy is having a really big issue with that I don't know if they fixed it now because you know it has been months wholesalers being on the website or like people that are just like like scamming people for money and it's just disgusting you know it's just like because I mean anybody can make an Etsy store and sell whatever they want <laughs> like as long as it's within their guidelines like they don't say anything like this but I don't know it just left a, like a bad taste in my mouth and I was just like you know what I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing from Etsy unless I know that the person is a hundred percent like a small business owner and stuff and you know I follow a lot of accounts that they are small business owners and I'll purchase from them because it's beautiful especially because you can definitely see like the effort that they put into every product like Bailey's products like I love that pin and I purchased it from her I have these notepads that I've gotten from her some washi tape so this is one of the notepads this is so freaking cute like I, I've only used like I think like three pages because I think it's so beautiful I'm like my handwriting is absolute shit I don't want to soil it <laughs> She did this beautiful thing. Like, look at this. It's a sketchbook and it's embroidered. Like, see the stitching and stuff? Like, the sheen. Wow. There's so much that she put into it and it's so beautiful and it's so such good quality and like the packaging is beautiful like you can just like see it and like feel it and everything and it's awesome when you see that from like a business owner and everything. If somebody would order from me, I would give them a little candy and a little goodie bag. 
Okay, we have made it to the part that I was not looking forward to. <laughs> Seeing all my products that I just, I don't know. I just left them in here. Just forgot about them because I was like, whatever, who cares? So these are full of earrings and keychains and stuff like that that I made. I don't know, I guess it just hurts because it's like, it's a lot of like my time and effort that I put into it and I just left it. <laughs> These are my freebie stickers. I had one for each season. <laughs> my hand covering it. Look at it. Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> <gasps> it's a solid freaking rock in there. These are actually really freaking cute. Look at them. They're tiny little baby embroidery hoops. I like gold. I'm pretty much done emptying this out. I'm just going to take this down because I'm not gonna paint this bin. I'm gonna go ahead and move the filing cabinet over here since it's gonna be in this spot. And then take these elsewhere and then probably start sanding tomorrow maybe. It is Thursday. Uh, well, it's the next day, pretty much, of the whole organization stuff. I'm outside. I'm going to start taking the drawers out. And I already, like, laid something down right here so that I can start putting the drawers out and then start spray painting them. I accidentally, like, really hurt my freaking hand because I broke another nail. And that was a lot of fun. That was really painful. It hurt just as much or probably a little bit less than this one when I hit my hand on the countertop. I'm just... I'm too clumsy for nails now, I guess. I don't know. I got them a little too long for what I'm used to. There's like a lot of like material and stuff like that. Like slowly my husband has been throwing them away from like the bathroom and whatever. And like our neighbors, like they have like a billion cars for some reason. So we're trying to build a fence, a more private fence, but that is still not today. So you're going to have to deal with random crap everywhere. <laughs> Just like me. Let's get to taking these things out. Right. So everything is laid out. I have these two colors. They're called Rostolam Painter's Touch Two Times Extra Cover Paint and Primer. Love that sound. Well, I'm thinking of making, I guess, this part white and then making the drawers blue. Or I don't know if I should do the opposite. I'm going to figure that out while I'm over here taking the tape off because I forgot to do that before I took them apart because I'm an idiot. All right, let's get to doing this, bro. I just finished dusting everything and taking the stickers off. Not too sure if I got enough, but I want to mainly focus on doing like the front because that's what you're gonna be looking at. <laughs> and I was gonna say that there's like white fluffy stuff like flying around. I don't know what the heck that's all about. So I'm really hoping that that doesn't interfere with like the paint job because I'm going to paint these and then I'm going to leave them here to dry. So I don't know. And I checked the weather. It's not going to rain. So that's good. And I have somewhere to go in a little bit. So I'm going to try and rush this. I don't know if this is going to need a second coat. Hopefully it doesn't. But anyway...
tragedy has struck. I ran out of white. So I have to order more. I'm not too sure. Maybe I can even find it at Michael's. I do have some thread that I'm thinking about returning. I've got pretty far. I think I may need to do a second coat, especially on the black pieces because they're a little patchy. I don't think that I'm going to have enough blue to do a second coat, but it looks pretty good without the second coat. I'm going to see if maybe I can run by Michael's return the thread and see if they have this exact paint. And if not, then I'm going to have to order it through Amazon and wait until it arrives to finish. <laughs> kind of sucks, but you know, I mean, what else am I going to do? And it was a bad idea to come out here and have freaking braids because one of my braids fell right on top of one of the containers and I got paint all over I try to wash it out <laughs> as fast as possible but I mean it's in there so I'm gonna have to like scrub it later I don't know how I'm gonna get that crap out but it's like hey I wanted to paint so I had to get messy so I'm gonna let these dry for now and, and see if I can wash this out of my hair Good morning, it's Saturday and today I have to actually make a cake because I'm going to a birthday party tomorrow and I'm actually kind of excited about this cake because it is bluey themed. Yay, first cake I've ever gotten that is bluey themed. I'm super excited. I baked the cakes yesterday. So one is vanilla, one is chocolate. Again, it's like the quinta cakes. <laughs> And my son's cake was also like that. So I'm just like, oh, there's like a real theme of like people wanting cakes like that. So I'm going to go ahead and stack them and crumb coat them and stuff and then put them in the fridge because I have to go to the store. I have two dogs and one of them, my boy dog, he has a autoimmune disease. So I have to like keep him, you know, with medications and stuff. And I have to go get one of his medications from the store. So I have to go and do that. And I think that would be enough time for the crumb coat to like set so when i come back i'll do the top layer and then put the edible image on and do the border and stuff i'm kind of thinking of going more pink because the birthday girl she's my daughter's best friend and she absolutely loves pink so i think that it would be cute if it was like this on top you know the blue when she's wearing a pink flower crown so i think adding like the pink to the base would make it like tie in perfectly i'm not too sure what color i should do the actual border i'm kind of leaning more towards a white i think that would be cute i know like i painted the, the plastic bins and i brought them in that night because they were dry to the touch but i brought them in because i was like i don't want them to be outside it sometimes rains at night and i'm like i don't want to like have to like deal with them getting moisture and bubbling up or i don't know so i was like let me just bring them in and i put them in my room and stuff like they're completely dry <laughs> i stacked two of them like the small one with the three drawers that one i already like put the drawers in and the really big one with like the seven drawers i also put the drawers in the one that i didn't put the drawers in was the one that's just one singular drawer because when i was about to put the drawer in i realized hey i didn't paint the front of this i painted the back thinking that it was the front so then i had to turn it around and paint the front and then ugh, that one had to like come into the house and it was still kind of wet so like i like left it in a corner so that it would dry by itself or whatever but i haven't put anything in them i have like makeup all over my face <laughs> I only did my mascara and eyeliner. Yesterday was a pretty busy day. We actually went to Legoland for my daughter's field trip. I took my son and, you know, like it was kind of like a little mini family field trip. It was really fun. We've never been to the Legoland here. So it was like really exciting to see like what it was all about and stuff. It's not like a super huge place. It was, it's kind of small. They had like one little ride and they had like the little photo booth area. They had like the little movie theater, like the 4D movie theater and stuff that air that they like shoot at you it's freezing like i was like i was in there and i was like i didn't know i should have brought a jacket <laughs> 
I was like, why is the air so cold? Like, gosh. But yeah, the kids had a great time. I had a great time and I'm I'm not a kid. <laughs> then we got home and I was just trying to like finish editing the quince vlog. Like I finished editing at 2 a.m. It took me that long and I'm not even 100% done. <laughs> it is very long. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this done because like I said, I got to go get the medicine and then finish doing this. I want to get this done so that I can just completely focus on like the video and stuff and I don't have to worry about. So yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Sunday. It is almost six. We just got back from the party. The kids had a blast and the cake was a huge hit. Everybody loved it. And yeah, they had a lot of fun because it was at this wildlife sanctuary. So the kids got to feed animals and it was nice. They had a lot of fun. I do think that I am going to unfortunately have to end the vlog right here because last week's vlog was a lot and kind of need a little break so yeah i will continue the reorganization and everything in the next vlog so i hope that you enjoyed this vlog i know it was kind of like you know random things here and there because you know i just i never really know how to manage my time efficiently <laughs> i'm only human and i went ahead and trimmed my nails because i just they were just getting on my nerves and I was like, yeah, I, I'm going to have to like get them trimmed because I'm just not used to having them long anymore and they were just getting in the way and like every time they would get like stuck in something or like I want to do something quickly and it's just like they're in my way. If I get nails again, I'll probably like gradually go up and not just go from like my regular nubs to like extra long because I just can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe if you want to like the video, hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye. I feel like I sound like such a freaking idiot. Oh my gosh. You got this freaking hairball just on the freaking floor. Lost my train of thought. What the heck? Oh my gosh. What? Who am I? Jojo Siwa? What the heck? Went on too short. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, what was my reasoning? Ew.